hello everyone so today i am going to do this my enemy character is able to switch between bow and arrow and melee attacks based on the distance uh, to the player character to himself so when i am in uh, far away from the enemy he shoots arrows and when i am closer to him he switch to melee attacks like this <gasps> he's blocking now not attacking <gasps> Well, actually, this is random. Okay, so that's what I'm going to cover today. And as always, this episode is sponsored by these generous Patreons. Thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me. Alright, so this is what we have so far. When the enemy see us, he starts shooting at us, shooting arrows at us like this. Okay, and he does not do anything else, so... Now what I want to do is when while the enemy is uh, within some threshold value like when the enemy is closer to us he will do melee attacks when the enemy is uh, not so close he will shoot at us while moving towards us so that's the behavior I want to develop let's first open our behavior tree and yeah here I have disconnected these two so I already break these links like this and then I need to select either this part or this part based on the distance to the character Oh, so after this part, I'll add a selector and then I'm going to select this or this um, they should be under sequences let's tell this sequence and this sequence based on some condition so the condition is distance to the enemy to the opponent So here I have the enemy variable but I don't have the distance so I'll add a new key I'll name it distance and we need a way to calculate this distance so let's um, let's add another what are those these things another service yeah 
let's add another service to calculate that I'll duplicate this service and name this one s calculate distance And yeah, we already have this locked enemy here, so I'll use it. Control phone get distance to this actor and set value as not as an object, set value as. vector sorry not vector float float all right compile now i'll Call that selector here, service here, calculate distance. And now I'll add decorator check blackboard decorator wait I have to set this blackboard key as the distance all right and here I have to select the blackboard key distance is greater than let's say if the enemy's distance is greater than what should we say 500 he should shoot arrows otherwise that means here if the distance is smaller than 600 He should do melee attacks and we forgot one thing uh, where did, do we draw arrow here so I need another task to put back arrow put back the bow and start doing melee attacks can I do it here we are yeah I'll do it here oh, should I need another task Yeah, I'll duplicate this one. I'll t toggle box. And here I'll call this one with a false. And uh, I'll call that here toggle bow and after toggling the bow maybe I will need a second to finish the toggling bow part so let's wait 
not five seconds about one second here and wait here I have said 500 now this is wrong it's greater than 5 600 it should be 600 yeah because here I have used 600 and also uh, on result change on result change I observe about self but this one this should about self and this is also about self I think 600 is too much maybe let's try 300 all right let's see how it works So if my logic is correct, when I am away from the character, he should start shooting arrows. But that's not what happens. I don't know why. But... Okay, now he starts shooting arrows. Now he should put back the bow and start fighting with the sword and that's correct he is doing it now but for some reason uh, it's not correct Maybe, yeah, maybe let's try something else. I think this calculate distance does not uh, affect when the player has gone into one of these states. I don't understand why. I don't fully understand actually. So let's uh, try maybe we should call this function here calculate distance here yeah while he's in this move to part at decorator sorry not decorator at service calculate distance and here also at service calculate distance now if the distance changes it should uh, abort these operations and act accordingly I'm not sure actually let's try Okay, he's coming to me. Still not correct. And now he equipped the bow. Let me check. Wait, I need to set this one as distance here and here. 
okay I still couldn't get it work uh, in, the, in the exactly way I need so I'll just delete these things mm -hmm. and maybe I'll add one here calculate distance and calculate distance hit the backward key to the distance What's wrong? But actually, we have these four now. So When the enemy see us, he come and attack like this. But if I go away, he starts shooting arrows. So at the first time, no matter what, he comes to us. And uh, I will research on what's wrong with my behavior tree and I'll show you in the next episode and yeah when I'm closer he starts attacking and also shoots okay I'll stop here for now and I try to figure out what's wrong with the behavior tree. Uh, hey, we are learning. I am also learning. So I don't know everything. So, yeah. And I'll share you the results once I could figure this out. And thanks for watching. If you would like to support my work, you can get the membership of my Patreon club. Link would be in the description below. And see you in the next episode. Goodbye. Actually, no need to wait for the next episode. I just figure out by adding a sequence like this after the enemy detected and add a sequence and here add this calculate distance service and add a wait of one second and then connect the selector. So by doing it like this, this works as, as expected. Here is the demonstration. Okay, now once he see us, he starts shooting arrows. Like that. And when I go closer, he put back the arrow and start doing melee attacks. So let's run away. Okay, and goodbye once again. See you in the next episode. I'll continue to improve this in the next episode and fix the remaining bugs.